So guys, how are you doing? Um, now we have conquered some of the challenges we've had in the past, which is basically go to Facebook, get the details back from Facebook. This variable saves the details we uh, return from Facebook. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna social. I'm gonna change this variable so it doesn't conflict with something. So what we're gonna do is first step, check if user exists. So if the user exists, simply uh, we will just log the user in. But if they don't exist, we'll sign them up. So um, else sign the user up. And then finally, I'll just finally log the user in. Okay. Um, instead, let's just do the basic simple one uh, this way and log user in so the first way we're going to check if the user exists because we're getting user back here so we're going to do a uh, user user if this user exists so we're going to do a uh, user um, where the email is the same email because we're 100 percent sure that uh, Facebook will send us an email. That's why we're using the email field to look. So we're basically going to the user's database uh, table to look and check if there's any user with this email. To do that, we need to, of course, import user. And I'm surprised we're not using user here. So let's import user. Just the way it was done somewhere. So if we, go to, if we enter the app folder, we'll see user. So I'm going to say just import user use. Uh, app user uh, that's it really app http there we go so we are importing user this user uh, so that we can use it here so from here at the bottom we're checking if this user exists so we're gonna say if the user exists if this guy exists um we're gonna try to log in all right so let's go ahead and, and log this guy in so i'm just gonna do first here first so if this user exists uh okay so let's try and log in to log in there's a way we can there's a code we can use you can do auth and remember we don't have this user's password. In fact, the password in the database is encrypted. Let me show you. In the database, the password is encrypted. So basically, we, we are just trying to, we're attempting to log this user in without knowing their password. Look at the password is encrypted. And this user is trying to log in from Facebook. And Facebook does not send us any password or anything. So we're attempting to log the user in without the password. So if we go to Laravel uh, under authentication, let me show you uh, where the begin now. So if you go to Laravel under security authentication and you scroll all the way to the bottom, all the way, all the way to the bottom, you will see a way to um, lock the user in. So if you get to this section, authenticate a user by ID, uh, we're going to try and use this. All right. So we'll copy auth and um, remember since uh, the user we just went to the database to check if the user exists. If the user exists, uh, this variable will contain all the details of the user, including their ID. So what we're going to do is user ID. So we're trying to throw this guy on uh, log. We're trying to log in this guy with the user ID. All right. So uh, one other thing we can do is if this was successful, we can then um, redirect okay makes sense so our redirection uh we'll write a code for it so otherwise we can do uh we want to do return redirect you know when a code is executing like this once it hits the return keyword um it stops so it's going to execute whatever is downstairs but otherwise we're going to say we're going to try and sign up this user i don't want to start writing a code to sign the user up i'm just going to go straight up to um this, this the the sign up method see register there's a register method here 
and does the validation and uh, I look at the method here that registers a user I'm just gonna carry it and uh, go to a login controller and paste it here so we basically we're going to remove this return we basically want to register sign up this user uh, if the user doesn't already exist in a database, we're going to sign them up, which is um, we're going to do um, name of the user should be what we got from Facebook as name, and email of the user should be what we got as email. And of course, I'm going to call it this way. Uh, exactly. So email, why am I not typing well? All right, so email, email. All right, we're good. And then we're gonna have to, since the user is signing up for the first time, we might as well uh, just generate a password for the person, random password, all right? So we're gonna use a random password and say one, two, three, four. We'll generate a password for the person because they are signing up for the first time but then after that after they have signed in uh, one thing we can do is to um, give them a page where they have to change their password so somebody clicks on sign with Facebook and then uh, after signing in we now pop up a page hey uh, choose a password you know but so but, but for us to make it work first of all we have to uh, create an account for the person. Okay, what I don't know is what this guy is doing here. All right, so far so good. We've created email password. And then the other thing we're gonna work on is, let's say this was successful. Let me uh, I equate it to um, a variable. I can say user sign up equals this. So. I can then say if if uh, the user sign up was successful, uh, we're going to try and log in this user. So we'll do um, auth. Uh, I think attempt. So we are going to basically attempt to log in with an email uh, from the what the email that this guy came with from Facebook. So this email from Facebook is logged in then we're going to uh, I think we should basically end up with what we had here since we don't have the password we can just say uh, exactly what we had here where is it if the user is signed up uh, if so generally there are many ways but much better ways to do uh, the things I'm doing here but I'm just breaking it down to this so you get to understand um, what is really going on you, you too you can have a much better way to get this uh, done all right so what we're basically doing is uh, from here we're going to return we're going to redirect to another page so if we go to register uh, say password all right um um we're going to return redirect um we're going to redirect to home otherwise we sign up this user and then send the user in so i'm gonna take this to this place i hope the whole thing makes sense to you first of all we want to confirm that this user doesn't already exist if they already exist we just send them in all right so um but secondly if they don't exist we'll create their account and then we sign them in and another thing we can do is to start adding another field we can have another field that we call avatar or provide picture avatar so we can take the profile picture that came from facebook so we can call it um, so just to be sure of the things we're working with I went back and um, just did this so I can see my payload um, I returned what we had today so I can see my payload from Facebook so that we can know what we're coding on you understand so um, to, to resolve this I think I should just do
do exactly this. All right. Um, so here, there is an avatar. You can't see it, but it's just one level above this. It is uh, user social. We're trying to get the profile picture avatar. And then other things we can get is the link to the uh, uh, Facebook profile. Uh, we can have something like Facebook profile link. So all these things, you can just add it as extras to your your code. So just do link. Um, so what else are we looking at? Um, link. Facebook profile verified gender so we're gonna do a gender oops we're gonna do a gender sorry this video is taking long but we just need to get um, everything right at once so we we'll have user social uh, user gender so all these other ones need to have the user All right, here we need to have user and um, email. Yeah, email can work with or without user, but I'm just gonna fix it there. Then name, name can work with or without user. Just gonna fix it there. All right, these are, this is the payload that comes from Facebook. And there we have it. So we generated a random password and there we have it. So what you can do is to go to your migrations to add these remaining ones. So we'll go to database, migrations, user stable. So we're going to add um, avatar, Facebook profile, agenda. So we have this. So we're just going to add avatar, Facebook, underscore profile. So we're going to add gender. So other things we can add, uh, all the other social networks we might add later on. So we can have Twitter. Oops. So we can have Twitter. Twitter profile. We can have um, GitHub profile. GitHub profile. Um, we can have um, which other one? LinkedIn. LinkedIn profile. So which other one is remaining? So we have Google and Bitbucket. So I'm gonna do Google. And then there's a Bitbucket. Okay, so we have all this around. So that when next we run our migration, if we refresh our migration, uh, it will create all those uh, files for us. So uh, I think it's generally time for us to test, but this video is now so long, we'll go to the next video and uh, test. So let's take one more look at what we have. Uh, first of all, we're checking if the user exists. And then I think something is missing here. Yep, just added it. So uh, we're going to Facebook to get the user's details. So from the user's details, we're trying to check if the user exists based on their email. Remember, we can get email like this, or we can just do user email. Um, that's how the data that Facebook is giving us is structured. So uh, we can get the user email. And then uh, if the user exists, we're going to try and log them on in using only their ID. All right. So now they are logged in and we redirect to home. All right. So otherwise, we're going to try here to create the user's profile after creating it we're going to log the user in uh, using their id again uh, the id of this guy this is what we're going to use so we're going to use the user id of the freshly created user profile and that uh, attempt to log the user in if the login was successful uh, we're going to redirect to home all right so there are other things you could do here, but I think this is it for now. We'll, do, we'll test in the next video, right? Thank you very much. See you.